Click on the subscribe button and press the bell icon for watching more update videos. Thank you. Hello friends, welcome back to Seoul Engineers YouTube channel with the new lecture. Dear friends, today I am going to show you here in this video how to study civil engineering drawing. If you have any question about this video, you must comment and remember like this video, share this video with your friends and subscribe this channel for more updates civil engineering videos. Let's start the topic. So this is the civil engineering drawing but I will tell you here that what is grade lines in civil engineering drawing and what kind of problem can be occur in this drawing and how we can study it. Okay, for this drawing I have a simple plane area I will show you now here. So this is the sample plane for this drawing, okay? Which dimensions are 29.5 feet and 29, 19.5 feet, okay? So let's start. Here I have some columns. This is the one column. This one is the second column. This one is the third column, okay, and but rectangle column, okay. This one is the fourth column. Here I have also some columns. My sketch is not good, but just I have to try to make something for you, okay. This is the other one. This is the last one column here, okay. Same like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 columns we have, okay? But this is this one, okay? 29.5 feet, 19.5 feet, okay? So here we have just 8 columns, okay? So here, look here. Here are the some blue lines which are Hidden lines. Also, we can say dotted line, but these are not dotted line. These are hidden lines. Okay, so the hidden lines can show you in civil engineering drawing when you want to study it. So here, this hidden lines can show you the center line for the column. Okay, so this is the center line for the column. Okay, so this is C1. You can write anything. For example, X1. Okay, or x2 or here we can say y1 okay or we can say y2 and y3 look at here again so this is the center line okay for this column okay in x axis okay it shows now here we can write x1 for example okay here you can also take but hidden lines x2 it's depend on you you can write anything okay like this this is the one other column so center line here you can write for example y1 okay or we can say C1, column 1, okay? So column 2, this one. Show you column 2. We can say, for example, Y1 I have written here. So if you start from Y1, so it will become Y2. But for example, if I say C1, so it will become C2, mean column 2. And this one is, okay, for this 3, okay? C3, like this okay like this so these are called grade lines but here look here in this drawing now this is the column one suppose I say this is the column one okay so this one blue line can show you here the center line for the columns so it will help you when you want to lay out any project or any drawing okay so for uh, making layout okay so for this it can help you 
so this is the center line for the column so it will comes here for this so look here like here so this is 28 okay we have 28 the other column we have uh, here this one okay so this is the center line for this one look here so it will start from here okay not from here because this this column is the second column is here so it will start from here a dotted line it will show you here 27 the other one we have third number column okay so the dotted line line or hidden line can become here so it will show you okay 25 okay the other one is this one okay so it will comes c1 we have written here c2 okay c1 so c1 means c1 so by this row it can show you c c1 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 you can change the name of uh, this you can say y1 y2 okay x1 z1 b1 okay it's depend on you so this is the other column so it will start from here okay 24 the other one is start from here look at here a okay, 21 and this one 22 okay it will comes from here so this one is the center line this one okay the column center is here this one okay just I will show you the mark here this is the center line so it will comes here to the 18 text okay text number 18 okay and this one is look at here this is the other one okay this is out from here okay so this is out from here therefore and this is the other center line for which one for 17 okay so now here are some dimensions so dimension can be start from the one grain okay are the column center from one column center to other column center okay so means from one grade line to other grade line okay so here is nine feet one inch and one by four okay the other one we have also same value here we have also same value here we have eight feet and three inch okay from this grade line to this one or from this center of column to this one okay also so this is eight feet three inch okay and now from this grade line to this grade line we have how much distance we have from one column center to another column center okay we have 11 feet 10 inch and from here this is the other grade line so this grade line and this one which dimension is 8 feet and 3 inch so this is the foundation plan part okay so uh, th here are the vertical dimensions so uh, this is the one grade line it means one grade line and other grade line it can show you the one center line for the column and the other grade line can show you the other center for the other column okay so take from here the dimension from here we have 17 feet and 10 inch so uh, this is the simple way how to study civil engineering drawing so look at here i am gonna show you it to near you can see it okay here okay so this is uh, the topic about how to study civil engineering drawing if you have any question about this video you must comment i will replay your answer okay and like this video share this video with your friends but remember subscribe this channel for more updates if uh, when you are subscribed this channel so you must press the bell icon with subscribe button there is the bell icon must uh, press the bell icon or bell the icon so you will get notification about our channel for watching more update videos thank you all the best bye